Today I'm going to be reviewing and swatching the new RMS Beauty Redimension Hydra Powder Blushes. I've been so excited to try these. I mean, look how stunning these are. I'm going to, of course, show you guys close-ups. I'll do some swatches and I'll also show them being applied. Now, I actually already do have one of these applied right now. I am wearing the shade Mai Tai and I also have the shade French Rose to share with you guys, but these just quickly spoiling it. These are so gorgeous. They are absolutely stunning. Getting into the details about these, these retail for $30. It comes in six shades. This is supposed to give a radiant finish. This is a pressed powder formula. It's made without sulfates, parabens, phthalates, silicones. This is also a talc-free powder blush. So this is described as a multi-dimensional nourishing powder blush that, that melts into the skin, creating a silky, smooth, luminous looking finish. This is supposed to give a bold color. It's supposed to give a radiant finish. So if you don't like radiant blushes, you're probably not going to like these because these are definitely very radiant. These are absolutely not a matte blush at all, but I actually I actually personally love luminous blushes. I love the way that they just kind of liven up your face and give you this gorgeous luminosity and glow. So I'm a huge fan of luminous blushes. So when I saw that these were launched, I was like, yes, these look amazing. Also, I feel like at Clean Beauty, like at the beginning was looked at as like the products were kind of boring, but I just love seeing products like this come out and these Clean Beauty brands really kind of just diving into makeup more and making them more fun because i mean come on this is so fun the design in this is gorgeous it's beautiful it just makes you almost want to buy it just to be able to look at it like it's just so pretty i did get these from citrine natural beauty bar also check the description because i do have a discount code for you guys but these are also available at sephora you can get it on the rms beauty website um you can get it at a variety of different places but anyway let's go ahead and get into the swatches i know it's what you guys want to see So again, I have two shades. I have the shade Mai Tai, which is described as a sunlit citrusy coral shade. It is absolutely beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the Becca Cosmetics blush in the shade Tiger Lily. This one I actually think is even better. I like it even more. It's absolutely beautiful, but it kind of looks similar to that if that is a product that you like. I had been looking for a clean blush that looked like that product. And because, you know, I feel like orange blushes were just not something that you saw within Clean Beauty. So when I saw that RMS launched these blushes and they had a like orangey looking shade like this, I was like, yes, this is probably going to be a dupe for that Becca Tiger Lily blush. And I would definitely say it absolutely is. But also I know it is an orange shade, like it looks orange in here, but I have this shade on right now and it doesn't look like super orange on the skin it just looks so pretty it's definitely a very nice like coral shade and what i really like about these two is that i feel like you can actually apply the product without having to worry about it applying too much at once while yes you can definitely build up that pigment and make it more bold i feel like you don't have to worry too much about applying too much with your first like application of it um, and you can definitely, you know, customize how much you want to apply with this, but it just also applies so beautifully, so seamlessly. It looks really nice on top of other products. It doesn't look heavy at all. It just looks absolutely beautiful. You can definitely just wear these and not a highlight because I mean, look at the glow that this gives. I actually did I actually just filmed a, a video and I did apply a little bit of this on top. This is a highlighter. This is the Ilia 
uh, highlighting powder in the shade a decade so I did apply a little bit of a highlighter like right here so that's what you're seeing but just look at the blush from there down you can still see it's very very luminous I was just trying to block off that highlighter but it's still very luminous you could definitely just use this and not use a highlighter and it's still gonna give your face that really gorgeous glow um, so then I also have the shade called a French Rose or French Rosé, I'm sure is how you're supposed to say it. This is described as an innocent pink. So I know I already have that other shade applied, but I do want to show you guys this also being applied on the skin. So I'm going to try to dab this blush off a little bit. Just trying to take some of this off. I'm going to go over this with a bit of foundation because I want to cover that other shade up. I did try to wipe it off, but I feel like it didn't get enough off. So I'm going to cover this with a foundation so that you guys are gonna see a more accurate color when I apply this blush. Okay, that definitely is gonna help give us a better base to work with so you guys can just solely see what the shade French Rosé looks like. Got this, I also wiped off my brush. So sad, I was filming a TikTok for these blushes and I accidentally, my nail accidentally took a chunk out of the corner of this. So sad. Anyway, see look, when you're first applying it, it's not applying too much product. It's very like putting a really nice light flush of that color. So if you wanted to not apply a super lot or like a really bold blush, then you can definitely do that with this. You can just lightly build it up. And if you want it more bold, like this side, you can absolutely build it up to be more bold too. But here we go. That is a really pretty pink. I feel like this is a perfect like everyday pink. It's kind of a bolder almost a bright pink too but it's so pretty but like also look at that you can see how glowy that is and it kind of almost does like that highlighter effect so here we have my tie on this side and then French Rose on this side getting into my thoughts about these you guys already know I really like these they're absolutely beautiful they're kind of what I have been wanting as far as blushes go within the clean beauty community. I've been wanting a luminous blush. I love luminous blushes. While well, matte blushes are nice, and I feel like a lot of people really like matte blushes, but I think I prefer at least, I don't know, some, I like to at least have some luminous blushes within my makeup collection because I just love them. They look so beautiful and I love how just youthful and glowy and radiant they make the skin look. These are just absolutely stunning. The packaging is also really nice. I mean, also look at the design. I mean, the design of this is just so stunning and it just makes makeup feels so fun to have a product like this it makes you almost not want to use it because you don't want to mess up the design it's so pretty but actually i feel like even just like dipping in just like dabbing your brush like this i don't think it's gonna mess it up a whole lot too quickly obviously as you use it the, the design is gonna go away a little bit this is also just gonna last you forever even if i use it a lot i mean i probably will eventually go through it because i have a feeling when i'm using these a lot but it's just probably gonna last so so long if you like a luminous blush i highly recommend these they're so beautiful i hope i have given you guys some helpful details about them and helped you by seeing those shades. I do want to do a full swatch video for them eventually. I hope to be able to get all of the shades. If I do ever get all of the shades, I will do a full swatch video for you guys, swatching all of the shades so you guys can figure out which shades you like the best. Um, but hopefully this video still helped you out. If it did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And again, if you guys do want to try these, make sure to check the description box below. I do have a discount code for you guys if you purchase it from Citrine Natural Beauty Bar. So I will have that link in discount code in the description box below. Also, if you are new here and you're not currently subscribed, I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video.